So I'm just seeing a load of stuff on Twitter and Facebook about kids who have missed out on exams and proms and other bits and pieces saying, oh, they just need to get perspective. And to be honest with you, it's starting to irritate me a lot now. Uh, yes, uh, in 10 years' time, when everything's sorted out, uh, these things will probably no, seem nowhere near as big as they are right now. But right now, to kids and to parents, for whom our world was set in one direction and now the world has pivoted quite considerably during this crisis, um, it sucks. It really sucks to uh, have missed out on trying to achieve what they set out to do, on saying a proper goodbye to their friends, on having proper ends of school life, etc. And um, of course, that is that's nothing compared to the potential of losing a family member, or the pain of some of the things that other people are going to miss out on during this difficult time. Uh, I'm not saying that for a second, but if we're sitting there with kids who are in grief and hurting because of stuff they've missed out, full of anxiety, and we just say, well, you need to have perspective, that's really not going to help. Um, there will come a time for that. I think some of the great ways to get perspective is to start being grateful for what you have, um, and just cha not challenging our kids, but finding times to encourage and nurture uh, gratitude at the end of every day. What are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for today? And uh, just helping them get that perspective, but without saying you need to get perspective. But I think most importantly for me, it's just, just let them be a bit pissed off about it. <laughs> let them grieve about it. I know that there are more important things. I know there are bigger things, but right now, and for a while, they're going to hurt, and that's okay. I crumbs. Um, and that's that is a normal emotional response, and the last thing we want in this crisis is to be suppressing emotions and telling young people that their emotions are valid uh, at this time. Um, yeah, we're going to have to work out how to press through and do things when our emotions are telling us otherwise but uh, certainly for these first couple of weeks kids are going to mope and i don't blame them and parents are going to do their best to try and keep them motivated and that's sometimes going to work and for some kids it'll work really well really quickly and for others it won't and I suspect for those with multiple kids in the house, you'll find that really, really quickly. Listen, I uh, don't know what lies ahead, but what I do know is I'm really grateful for you being here today. If you found value in this, hit, hit like, thumbs up or thumbs down, or um, challenge me on what I'm saying. Let's, let's keep good, healthy conversation going during this time. And for today, uh, for today, be really grateful for your kids and nurture that potential in them. Uh, encourage them to thrive in today. And if they're hurting and moping, just love them, love them, love them, love them uh, uh, until they're ready to move forward. Have a great day. Bye.